work back, whatever it may be. So there's two, um, there's two ways to define it, but it's also a special quality or talent that makes a person stand out from the rest. So think of a person you know that has an X factor. What talents make them stand out? And also think of a time when you had an X factor that made, made you finally make the changes in your life for the better. And this was Jay-Z and Beyonce, who I'm big fans of. And obviously, they have the X factor. And together, they have a synergistic effect. Yoga. So even though we didn't study yoga in particular, the, the definition of yoga is union or to yoke together. And you know, self-regulation is control of one's appetites and emotions and finding that balance. So you know, again, I always say to students, you find yoga on your mat, but you're striving for yoga off your mat. You're striving for the union within yourself so that um, you feel more balanced. And if you've never tried yoga, that's fine, but what do you do to find union or yoga in your life? And what can you do to help still that constant mind chatter? It's all about stilling the fluctuations of the mind. And this was me at just one of the yoga studios I teach at. And my shirt says yoga and zest. So one of the VIA 24 character strengths zest is defined as doing what you do with energy and excitement, viewing life as an, as an adventure. And there was a study for student, middle school students and strengths such as love, hope, and zest at the beginning of the year were related to increased level of life satisfaction by the end, at the end of the school year. Zestier people are less depressed and anxious, which means they're happier. So what can you do to feel zestier about life? Are you zesty? Take the VIA character strengths test. And this picture was taken at the Five Points Graffiti Mecca in Queens. Did anybody get to see that? No. Now it's gone. It's all been painted over. But it was this amazing graffiti mecca. I don't know, this picture in my phone. So those were my ABCs of positive psychology, A through Z. And it's again, it's my passion project, but instead of what, what brings, how I find all hope and, and, and gratitude and zest is different than you. So I challenge you to just look at the page and if you want to get north of neutral, to go find your own awe, to build, broaden and build, to find compassion, to discern, it, you know, just get more familiar with these words. And again, it's all about setting SMART goals, right? We've gone over this in all of our talks specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and timely goals. And, uh, and if you want any additional guidance and you would like a help, uh, a help and you'd like to meet with me or, or we could sit down and discover what your strengths are and try to build on them to make the changes. Remember, it's about your mindset. I always tell my clients, small, slow changes. Stay focused, prepare for lapses and setbacks, but remain positive. Pick yourself up and get back on track. And that's, that's, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. So I realize you travel a lot, yeah, that's what I realize. Yeah. <laughs> so one of the things I just want to conclude tonight, right, is that, you know, I hope we gave you a sense of how we see it differently here, right? That's why we call it the practice, right? It's a fresh approach, a different approach to diseases, medicine, and health. Um, again, you know, at every encounter, either with me, and I think with their entire staff here, I know with Michelle, and I know with Julie, we always ask these five pillars, um, how we eat, how we relax, how we be stressed, how we move, how we sleep, and how we find happiness. We got those, what we call the primary foods, primary medicine, Everything else kind of just falls into place. And again, this is Fresh Med, the five pillars. Um, and all we ask is this, is to follow us, love us, like us, and just be happy for us as we come to grow this movement. Um, one thing I you know, want to say is that I, I am a doctor. I've been in the trenches for 15 years. I can say that for the first time in my life, and I have a partner here in, in, in crime, Dan, uh, who we decided to leave the standard academic conventional medical setting so that we can find our own happiness, so that we as physicians can share that bounty of positivity with all of you. Um, and you, of course, make me happy, and all of you make me happy for coming tonight and not watching the Ranger game, which I'm um, be happy if we win tonight. <coughs> um, but sign up for our newsletter, go to Freshman NYC. Um, 
follow Julian Pollard if it's like, um, Julian encourages you to do your own podcast. And that is a book in the making, and, and Carly, my, my sweet friend Carly right here actually created her own ABCs of positive psychology and that's what I, I want to get uh, like a, um, I, I want it to be a movement that we focus on one letter at a time and we just broaden it, we just build, we just build on that. Um, and so I think with that, yeah, do the happy. And if, if you find time for the newsletter, we actually, end, at the end of the month, um, we send you a recap of this lecture. Um, and um, I know you, a lot of you guys took notes. Um, we will share it across slides with you and the newsletter as well. Um, I want to say thank you. Peggy from the Meatless Monday campaign. The Monday here. campaigns, yay. Uh, the Monday campaigns here. Um, thank you, Chris, for supplying the juice. Love and, Grace uh, Juice. Loving us. Uh, and Dan for being supportive. This is our last, you know, this is age, this is happiness. This is kind of our curtain call. Mark, uh, we will we'll be writing something together shortly. Um, and Tal for spending your evening with us. I'm truly honored for you to uh, share your thoughts with us and we'd love to hear your feedback on this. And Carly and um, the great and talented people around us here. Michelle, Alice, thank you for everything. Um, and I'll thank you. Thank you.